On February 8, 2012, a root exploit was finally found and released for the Sony Tablet S. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the drivers as well as uh, run the exploit. The first thing you need to do is make sure the USB debugging mode is enabled and that the ADB drivers are properly installed on your computer. Previously, this required installing the Google Software Development Kit, which is a bit complicated, so I created an automated installer for the drivers. If you haven't already, watch the video and install the drivers and make sure everything's running on your computer. Once you've done that, go onto the tablet and go into Settings, Applications, make sure Unknown Sources is checked, go into Development, and make sure USB debugging is checked. Once you've done that, you can plug the tablet into your computer. In Device Manager, you should see two things, the Android ADB interface and the Sony Tablet S under Portable Devices. For the first part of this exploit, you're going to have to disable the tablet. So right click and go into disable. Okay. Next, you're going to download the exploit, which is a zip file, and extract it. So I've extracted it to my desktop. From here, you can typically just run the exploit, but I prefer to run it in a command prompt so that you can see what's happening and it doesn't close. As well, you can run other commands if you need to. If you're an administrator, you can hold down shift and then right click and you should see an open command window here option. So click on that and open the command window. If you don't see the word administrator, you're going to have to open up this manually uh, through the start menu. So just close it, go into start and type in CMD and then right click and run as administrator. So now you're going to get a command prompt that says administrator and this is the part that most people have uh, problems with because they're not familiar with the command prompt. You want to navigate to this folder. So the easiest way to do that is to copy this entire path. So copy. In the command prompt type in CD which is change directory and then right click to paste. And that should take you directly to the folder type in dir, which will directory, and that'll list all the files in the folder. So now, if you've installed everything properly with the Android interface, if you type in adb space devices, the tablet should be listed. So there it is. If the tablet isn't listed, watch my other video, reinstall the drivers, and make sure everything's set up properly. Your device has to be listed here or else the exploit will not work. Once you've gotten the exploit, you can type in run and hit enter to run the exploit. As always, before modifying a device, you should back up all your data using a backup program or over the cloud. Dan Rosenberg and myself are not responsible for anything that happens to your tablet, so uh, back up your software and don't do this if you don't have experience uh, using ADB or other advanced Android functions. So the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to reboot and try to find the exploit. So once the tablet's rebooted, you shouldn't have any errors here. And at this point, you're going to go back into Device Manager and enable the Sony Tablet S. Once the tablet has booted up and you've re-enabled Sony Tablet S under Portable Devices, you can press any key to continue. So once it's rebooted a few times, um, you should get to the point where the remount succeeds and 
it installs the exploit. Once everything finishes, you're going to get a message that the exploit is complete and your tablet should restart. Once the tablet's rebooted, if you scroll down, you should see super user. And that means your tablet's been uh, rooted properly. Just to test it out, I'm going to install BusyBox. That's how you root the Sony Tablet S. If you have any questions, please post in the original developer thread since I'm not the creator of this exploit. But if you do post in the comments, I'll try to get you an answer.